Hello everyone, thanks for joining the first iPhone Builder Guru session. My name is Ben and I will be talking about CSV upload today. Um, so how we're going to be able to show this example of CSV upload is that we want to be able to have the ability to upload many records into one data table in iPhone Builder. So this, these records you upload can be used for assignment, they can be used for a lookup table, or any other things like that. So let's start out by first opening up the form here that I have. Let's refresh this page. So inside the form builder I have created one form right now and if we go down to it here it's called iPhone Builder Guru CSV Upload. So you'll see that, let me resize this here, but what I have is a few different fields here. I have a date, I have three text fields, and one pick list. So we have the ability to upload into date fields, text fields, as well as pick lists, and many others. But this is what I'm going to show today in this demo. So how we want to do this is, within Excel, you want to copy all the data column names and paste them as a column header. So date one, the names, and we want to make sure we are not using the labels. We want to use the data column name, so which is all lowercase with no spaces or special characters. So I'm going to keep pasting these in as column headers. City. And then state as well. So I pasted all those in. Now these are the headers. And this is the very important because if these are not correct, then the data will not upload. So next what we want to do is we want to upload some data into the date field. Now the date is a little special because we have to enter the data in a certain format. Um, so the format here, we actually want to go into the number field, select custom, and custom again, and then in the type here we want to do four, ye four Ys for the years, then month, month, and day, day. And this is the format that iPhone Builder expects coming in, so what we can do is we'll extend this down for like four more records. So now we have the same format for all the records here. So this will upload into iPhone Builder correctly. And we're going to pick some names here. Ben, Tony, Steve, and Chris. We'll get some addresses here. 23 Maple Lane. 1 Pine Street. 2 Spruce Drive. 43 Madison Street. And then we're going to get some cities here. So we'll do... Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Hagerstown. So text fields are very easy to upload in. All you need to do is just enter the text data in here like I have done for these three text fields. Now, the pick list is a little confusing as well. So what you want to do is go into iPhoneBuilder.com and go in the form builder and open up your form and then you'll be here so you open up your state and your pick list field go into the option list and option list manager now from here it looks like you would just upload PA, MD, New Jersey and Florida but what we actually want to do is go into the advanced tab and upload the key values so everything is lowercase so inside of here we'll enter PA, we'll do two PAs, we'll do a Maryland and we'll do a Florida to show you so you'll see that I have it all lowercase here. So just remember you need to have it in the key value. The key value is what you use, not the label when you're uploading into there. So now that we have that all set up, we can actually save this as a CSV file and upload it into our database. So let's save it here, save it as a CSV into our desktop. And we'll open up the data tab here. And we want to search, I'm going to find this one, iPhone Builder Guru CSV Upload. So I'll select the list view. And I want to upload CSV data. It's the option here, and if your screen's a little bigger, it'll be on the right side. So you select that. And now it's loading the CSV upload page. Select Choose File. We'll scroll down to our desktop here, and we'll see Test CSV. We can choose that and select go. Now what it's doing is it's taking call or rows 2 through 5 and pushing them into a different record in iPhone Builder. So in a minute here you'll see that all the records have come through here. So we see we have the date fields, the name fields, address, city, and state as they come through. Um, so you'll see that 
again, the state field here is all uppercase. And this is actually referencing the label instead of looking at the key value. So we upload the key value, but then it shows the label here in the data views, which is what we want. And then the dates are uploaded all correctly, too, as well, so in the same format that we, we have them in, in our CSV file. So again, I'm just going to go over this. So troubleshooting this is, first off, we have to make sure that all the column headers here match the data column names in iPhone Builder. So not the labels, but the data column names, which we have done to start. And then we have to make sure the format for the number field is actually a custom one that we created. So it's four year, four Ys, two Ms, and two, day, two Ds for day. We select OK, and that's the correct format. Then again, for the state field, we want to make sure we are using the key value. So I'll go back to that again and show that one last time. So we'll go back into here and we'll look for the format created, which was iPhone Builder Guru CSV upload. In the option list manager under the state field, you will see this is the option list. And then this is the advanced tab. So P, A, M, D, N, J, F, L. So those are the ones you put in. So if we want to upload again, we could simply change this to N, J, and it would upload New Jersey that as a new record in iPhone Builder if we would re-upload this file. So this is how you utilize CSV upload and some of the troubleshooting tactics um, that you may run into when using this feature. So thanks for catching me in, on this iPhone Builder Guru session before the new year. So have a happy new year, and see you guys next week. Thanks.